Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike, we're back with another video and we're going to be using a new code reader that I received from Autel. Yes, this is the legendary Autel MK808S-TS and today we're going to be testing some of its features. It is fast, it is light, and as you can see, it's Bluetooth. You really have to be kidding me, right? See all the little pistons? Alright, it looks like snow. <laughs> I'm flooring a V12 engine. You thought this was gonna be perfect, right? Why can't I, like, fall in love with a Lexus? Monkey. Monkey. Wrench. Wrench. Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm no, in the car. Now I do have several cars that we can test this little product on right here. We have a newer Mercedes, we have a super old BMW, we have a super old Mercedes, and I even have a project car that I'm going to kind of introduce you to, but this is it right here. This is the Autel, like I said, MK808S-TS with Bluetooth function capability right there. You can code your ECU. This has full TPMS functions. It is bi-directional, which means you can tell your car to do things through this right here. Maybe you have a suspension issue. Maybe you have something you want to check as far as a module. You can tell the module to do something, and if it does not, then you simply replace the module. It's going to save you some money. It has 31 hot functions. Now, these are things that it can do and it can make your life so much easier. This can do a TPMS reset. We can do ABS bleeding. Remember how complicated those systems are. You can code your injectors and you can do transmission adaptation just to name a couple right there. Four gigabytes of RAM and it runs on the Android 11 operating system. And like I said, this Autel is four times faster than other versions. Now, I do have to tell you, having Bluetooth is a game changer for me. It makes everything so much easier because all you do is plug it in. The hardest part is finding your port, which for this old Mercedes right here is right here. I got to turn it around. I'm doing this with feel, not with eyes. Maybe I should reverse that <laughs> because it doesn't seem to be going in. All right, there we go. She is in. The green light indicates that she is ready to perform. So let's grab our unit. We'll get our keys. We'll get my old reading glasses out of the way there. And we are going to jump in and check this thing out. Okay, now because it is daytime, you're going to see a lot of reflection. I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can do. The screen is nice. It is bright. But as you can see, yeah, it does reflect everything looking into it. Now, this will self-read the vehicle. So if you have a newer vehicle, this is a 98, so I think it's gonna work. This will read the VIN, and then we can move forward with seeing what might be wrong with it. So we're gonna go into, it's initializing the data right there. Okay, diagnostics. Mercedes. Come on. Okay, let's go automatic selection and it is going to establish vehicle communication and then we're going to tap read right here and this should relatively quickly pull up the VIN. See, it's reading, it's looking for it right now. And there you go, there is the VIN, WDBGA43G1XA409753. Let's go on, and we are going to take a look at what might be wrong with the engine. One of the things to note with this unit right here is because this is an older Mercedes, you need that 38-pin connector, which is uh, under the hood, to do a lot of things. The 16-pin connector can only diagnose the engine system right here, according to Autel. So you don't get a 38 pin connector with this one. So we're going to diagnose with the 16 pin. Now we're in, we can diagnose things. We can do some hot functions. We can program, customize something. We can take a look at the vehicle profile. So let's diagnose right here. We're gonna to go to auto scan and watch how fast this is. Now the slow part of this is actually my car. This unit itself 
is really, really fast. So the delay is because of my car. We're now inside the BMW and I love the BMW placement for the OBD. Yes, right there, look at that. Okay, so what we wanna do now, let's see how fast this will read the codes here in this old car. Okay, let's find the bin, the BMW, there it is. I just wish you could see this better. Where's a better place to look at it? It's so shiny. Automatic selection, read to acquire. You know something, let's really, let's really use this Bluetooth. Let's just go out here. <laughs> we'll go in the shade and see how this thing is working. I just can't let the car get too hot. Here we go, much better. Lola approves, I've got my reading glasses on. Been reading failed, so it didn't like the BMW. Okay, seven series. E38, I have a 740. Can you hear how good the car is actually running? She's ready for her paint job. Let's uh, diagnose, auto scan, and see what we find here. So this is much faster than the Benz, than the Benzo. All right, verdict is in. We have three faults right here for the engine. Now, if I wanted to create a report and I could email it to myself or my customer, if I was a professional mechanic, I could do that right here with this report. I'm not gonna do that. All I wanna do is see this. I don't know why we have to always establish vehicle communication. You've already done that. You've already read the codes. So we have a random code stored. Uh, and we have a signal camshaft position sensor. And continuous power supply circuit open. So let's see what that is. One of the good things about this, it'll search for you on the internet. Look at that. That's how you can do all of your research to figure out exactly what's going on with your car. Look at that. Okay, so we can go to electronic mobilization. Get all the information you need right there. You can also take a look at the camshaft position signal sensor. Okay, let's go back. And let's just erase all the codes. Okay, so there we go. Right here where it says live data is certainly very, very useful with your car. You can check the engine idle speed. It's off right now, but it was on. Intake air temperature sensor, coolant temperature sensor, voltage of the coolant temperature sensor, idle air adaptation. You have all of these mass airflow sensor. Oh, because it's not on right now. Ignition, ignition, fuel pump. All this kind of stuff you can monitor and you can control because once again, this is bi-directional. So I really, really, really think that would be very, very helpful. Something else you can do, you can activate all of these things. Take a look at this. If you go to active test, hit that. You can test, here's my fuel pump relay. I can turn on the fuel pump. I'm sitting here on my little rocking couch with what is next in my life right there. And I can activate the fuel pump I can hear that. I can hear that clear as bell right there. So the fuel pump is running. And I can turn it off with the escape right there. Nice. All right, let's see what else we can do. This is on our transmission right here. We can go in here. We will establish communication. And look at that. We can take a look. We can read the codes. I have no codes right here. I can active test. Look at this. Solenoid valves, the shift lock, pressure actuator. Instrument cluster interface, I can check that. Ah, love it, love it, love it. All right, so that is in a nutshell on what this unit can do with the older Mercedes and BMW. I do want you to go out and take a look with me as we test it on a mystery vehicle, 
This was uh, last night, so uh, enjoy this. It's getting dark, and this is the reason that I got this Attel right here, because what I want to do, <clears throat> see the blinking light right there? Yeah, this is the valet key, and it hasn't started the vehicle for so long. They forgot each other. We got to get them reacquainted, okay? So what I want to do is to go into this side of the Altel and take a look at immobilizer keys. What we're going to do is reprogram this car to accept the key, which is going to be huge. It is going to be huge. So here we go. I'm real excited about this. If it works, oh, baby. Uh, automatic selection. Read. Okay. Screen's much better when it's dark out, isn't it? It's not as hot in the car either. So there it is. That's how long it took. Okay. That's the kind of car it is. If you haven't even seen this on the channel, hot functions. Sub function not supported. What's wrong? Why are we not doing this? All right, there you go. This is the Autel Maxi Pro MP808S-TS, and it works for uh, most of my cars here. And I want to say thank you to everybody at Autel, although this is not the one that I requested. It's the one that they sent, and it does work on some of my cars, not all of them. Hopefully, they'll see this and upgrade me to the unit that I wanted that can actually control more things on these older cars and actually includes some of the adapters, the 38 pin adapter that I need. I'd love to get one that would uh, recode keys. Yep, that's the one I wanted, but uh, it didn't happen. So we'll see if I can get one from them and then we'll show you how that works because that would be very helpful on the mystery vehicle that you haven't even seen yet, okay? So stay tuned, we have more videos coming on the BMW, the Mercedes right there, way off in the corner. I don't even know if you can see it. We had that SLK 350 I'm bringing back to the channel. Yep, she's been gone for a while. Last time we worked on her, things blew up and it wasn't a pretty sight. So we're bringing her back. Big plans for her if you like um, Barbie. That might be a little clue for you what's going to happen to the SLK. Of course, we have Janice in the garage. And I got the Disco Inferno I'm still trying to fix. All right, folks. We're back with another video very soon. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And if you are in the market for a very nice code reader, check out the latest from, oops, upside down, Autel right there. Okay, bye-bye.